Um, and then finally, let's look at 2011. What are your top three predictions, or what do you think will happen in the next year? And or maybe what do we have to get over some challenges to get to some of those predictions? Yeah. Well, gosh. <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> will there be 3D video conferencing everywhere maybe. or not? I think not. <laughs> oh. Actually, sorry. I think that that we will see the the market become more specialized. Manufacturers like Cisco that try to hit the whole gamut, right? They try to do everything. They make you know little video cameras. They make cell phones. Cisco doesn't make a cell phone yet. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll make everything. You know, they'll make every kind of piece of material. That's fine for those vendors. I think that the rest of the vendors will find something that they do very well and will just do that. Right. Uh, and I think that probably is going to be the biggest thing. So we'll see manufacturers that make unbelievably immersive telepresence gear. Just amazing. Totally different than what you've seen today. Uh, maybe even some of it 3D. I don't think that 3D experience will be everywhere. I don't think you need it everywhere. You know, seeing somebody in 3D on a small handheld, you know, portable device, I don't know where mine is right now, but a very small cell phone, you know, it's probably not a, a useful tool. Do I want, you know, in cell phones, we've gone from, from talking to texting. Right. Why would we then go up to video, which is kind of above talking? Right. I think in some cases that's useful, but probably not in the, in the bulk of the communication that we do. So, like I say, I think things will become more specialized. Uh, we'll see cell phones that are made for video conferencing. We'll see cell phones that are made for texting. Mm -hmm. uh, and they'll be very different devices. I think pads are going to take off, kind of my second prediction. I think tablets are amazing. Uh, I think Microsoft will kind of re-enter the tablet market, which is funny because Microsoft kind of led the tablet right. charge and then <laughs> we had to wait for the iPad and the Kindle. But I think that you know tablets are really going to be great, especially for video conferencing where I can just hold it and talk to someone, set it down, maybe you know pop it up on the wall of my cube. Very, very, very useful little device. Very inexpensive, you know, a few hundred dollars. Uh, I think that technology will really explode in 2011. And I think uh, wireless high-speed 4G networks will explode in 2011. I think that's gonna drive this infrastructure. One of the things that's always held video conferencing back is large availability of bandwidth with good quality of service. Uh, and 4G has the potential to change that somewhat. And then kind of my last prediction, I think we'll see a significant change in the underlying infrastructure of the carriers. So the Sprints, the AT&T, you know, those guys. Today they're all kind of separate little islands. So if you have an iPhone, you can use um, FaceTime, but only on Wi-Fi through Apple's network. Uh, on Sprint, you can use the Evo phones, but only to talk to another Evo phone. Those kind of closed networks are a little dysfunctional for broadband video conferencing. And I think we'll see a significant crossover of uh, that technology into a manufacturer, potentially even one of the larger manufacturers buying a network carrier or conversely uh, to get into this market. So I think 2011 will see a big change in the carrier market. Interesting. Well, hopefully uh, we'll see. We have a couple more days here to get there, but uh, we'll be uh, heading in there fast and forward. I know Brightcom, we're moving forward on a lot of different things. What are we going to be doing in 2011? Where are we going? Yeah, we're really going up market. You know, the, the low end of the market is well served right now. There's a lot of folks down there. Uh, you know, we, we're one of them. We make a great, uh, we think, the best <laughs> low end camera today. That, that For low end, I mean low end HD camera. Uh, at the high end, there really hasn't been a lot of change. You know, we, we've seen price reductions, but no real technology change. A, a state of the art three screen telepresence system is not germanely different than what it was three years ago. Uh, and I think that's really where you'll see our product line change in 2011. Uh, is our high-end products setting a new bar and a new standard for immersiveness and telepresence. So we could be doing this interview and it would really feel right. like I'm in the room right in front of you. Uh, we could do it over the telepresence unit, uh, but as good as it is, there still is a high degree of separation because you are talking to a screen sure. uh, and there is a flat wall. You know, there's some challenges with the immersiveness of the experience today. I think we want to change that. I think the other thing we want to change in 2011 is more data, making it easier to share a spreadsheet, share a document, share a PDF, whatever you want to share, making that very natural and organic to share that. Uh, and being able to deliver that anywhere, to a cell phone, to a conference room, to a desktop, you know, to your home, that kind of ubiquitous delivery, delivery capability is something that has always kind of been a hallmark of us, and I think in 2011, we're going to carry that forward a little further. Excellent. We'll look uh, forward to a good year then. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Well, thank you very much for, for listening to us today. And uh, if you have any more questions about Brightcom or the telepresence and video conferencing industry, you can always reach us at www.brightcom.com. Thank you and Happy New Year. Happy New Year.